Hey guys, Pimaster here. Um, let me answer a question that I've heard a lot, and I've been hearing this same question since the early 70s, 1970s, not 1870s. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm not that old. But anyway, should a martial artist or a fighter of any genre uh, lift weights? And I have kind of an ambiguous answer but I do have an answer, so here it goes. Um, in the early days, they were, I was told by, by every trainer I ever had, do not lift weights because you're gonna get too bulky and slow and you're gonna lose your flexibility and you won't be as, you know, you won't be as rapid with your, your, your motions. Uh, so no, let, no weight lifting at all. They wouldn't let any of the fighters lift weights. I mean, even when I was in the army, on the you know the army boxing team, you know we weren't allowed to lift weights. Um, I I loved I loved to lift weights, um, and I would do it off you know in between fights or if I wasn't really training for a fight once in a while. I just loved I loved to feel powerful and lift weights, but I was always told not to. So uh, that was the way it was in the early days. We weren't supposed to lift weights. Now. It's still kind of a, a you know a mix up for some from some fighters and some trainers, you know the weightlifting controversy still in 2015 goes on, and what I feel is weightlifting is great, but being a weightlifter is not good, and what I mean by that is uh, I'll use CrossFit for instance. Now I love CrossFit. I'm a CrossFit gym. And I, I, CrossFit has changed my life in a lot of ways. Um, but as a martial artist or as one of my fighters, I do not want them to do a full CrossFit workout if it includes heavy overhead lifting, heavy or high repetitions of deadlifts, um, or any kind of high repetition weights at all with a dumbbell. Because the chances of injury versus the benefits to me don't equate and let, let me put it in, in these terms if you were going for the crossfit games and you had to do all those and you spent 90 percent of your time doing those lifts and getting stronger but you wanted to train mma just to cross train they're not going to throw you in the ring with glover texera and have him go all out on you because you're going to get hurt and that's not what you want to do. You just want to cross train to get fit. So they're not going to throw you in to get hurt. And that's how I feel with, with MMA fighters or fighters in general that cross train to, to, uh, to uh, CrossFit. I think CrossFit can be uh, modified like I have to make CrossFit. And, and you could even, they could modify it and you could get a great workout. But I think if you tried to do their workouts, which included heavy overhead squats, clean and jerks and deadlifts, I think you're going to get hurt and it's going to be, it's going to be, um, counter counterproductive. So I think there is some weights that can be lifted to be a better uh, martial artist. I, I love uh, dumbbell lifts. I like some kettlebell swings. I like stuff like thrusters with 45 pound dumbbells. I like man makers. You can see all these workouts if you go on my blog and, and search for them. Um, I love, you know, I love curls. I, I know you're not supposed to for CrossFit, but I like curls and I think curls are very important in, in fighting because somebody grabs your arm. A lot of times that bicep comes into play, even in the choke. Um, so I think there are a lot of dumbbell workouts that you can do in MMA um, and even some light, light uh, barbells. I'm not completely against barbells, but to me, they're not as functional. Uh, to me, like to get the lower back instead of dumb, uh, deadlifts, I think kettlebell swings are a lot more, um, they're a lot more functional because when you're when you have someone in a clinch and you're trying to say you're trying to you know suplex somebody or even lift someone up you know it's more it's more practical like a like an elephant you know an elephant we call it elephant but it's actually a kettlebell swing or even just your takedown drills in your grappling with your 
with your partners. You're getting a great workout right there. So to overdo it by lifting too much heavy, heavy, heavy weights, like I said, would be like a weightlifter going into MMA and getting beat up by Glover Teixeira or Chuck Liddell or something like that. So I believe in, 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 in lifting weights uh, for, um, for strength. I think it gives you great power and it's also uh, just something else to do. I mean, you know, you could do push-ups, pull-ups, squats, running, burpees, you know, air dying, etc. But but sometimes you, you want to mix it up a little. And and to me, um, that's one way to mix it up is, is throwing some weights. So I know my, my answer is kind of ambiguous, but I think weightlifting can be a very Im important part of your workouts, a very beneficial part of your workouts. Um, and I think there are some light dumbbell work, even some light um, uh, barbell work, even some kettlebell work, you know, just to get that resistance. I don't think it's necessary, but it is effective and practical. Um, but I don't think it should be pushed too hard. I don't really like overhead work because we're not really using those muscles that much. It's true, they do build up all your shoulders and it does add some flexibility. But I think if you start going overhead too much, um, you're going to start running into some shoulder problems if you're not, if that's not your thing. You're a martial artist, not a weightlifter or a crossfitter. So I would stay away from that. I definitely would stay away from heavy bench. That's completely, you know, useless for a fighter. Um, it does add bulk to your ch shoulders and, 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 and your pecs, but it is so dangerous to go heavy bench when you could just do push-ups instead um, unless you want to get that size and be a weightlifter then do the heavy bench but other than that I would stay away from it heavy deadlifts are gonna kill your back and there's the the risk benefit doesn't compute at all for a martial artist so lift if you want but lift light lift fast lift lift explosively but don't uh, lift weights, but don't be a weightlifter. All right, thanks for coming. I hope that answered your questions and uh, made you think about, uh, about it and uh, maybe you'll become a better martial artist because of it. Drop me a line and a comment, thanks.